Hey everyone, it's me, Alicia. Um, hi, sorry I have not been on in a while. We um, sold our house this summer, and I've been spending time with the boys, and we had some family health stuff, so I've kind of been MIA for a while. So I went to a thrift store the other weekend, sorry I was checking the camera, with my dad. We went to go visit him before the boys start school. And we went thrift shopping, and I found some good deals, and I thought I would do a thrift store haul. And then I started pulling out a bunch of other stuff to share. Um, this stuff I got, I think I got some of it for Christmas and some of it for my birthday. So it's been a while, but I seen it and thought I might as well share it. So I will go ahead and get in. Um, I got this punch. Makes it look like the edge of a paper. And these stamps, which I love mushrooms, so I thought these were really cool. And I got this package of stamps too. I'll have to kind of open it to show you them. And it came with all these little notepads, which I thought was a nice little surprise. Um, but it has all kinds of different... I see Laura use one like this all the time, and I always liked it. A mason jar. I'm going to go quickly through these. It's really cute. And again, I love the mushrooms. And then I got a little postcard one, which I've been wanting also. Love the flowers. One. And look at the little chicken. He's so cute. And there's another one. So I got all those in one package, and it came with these little notepads. All of this stuff was um, off Amazon. I'll just throw those right there for now. And then I also got this one, because I love the fox and the squirrel and the owl. So I thought those were really cute. And I thought these envelopes would be fun to play with because they come in all different colors. And I liked the size and shape of them. So I thought those were pretty neat. And then I also got, um, got these to go with this. I have the, um, the Tim Holtz little pocket one. But it just has the one kind of pocket and then the rest are the little bitty slots if you've seen it. And so I liked how this one had three big pockets that you could put some nice size tags in. Although once I got it, I didn't know it was going to be quite so wide. So I hope it fits on the pages. But I got these because I liked the shape of these. I think they're cute to go in there. And then I got some of these little like cardstock looking ones. So those are kind of a set. I think I got these for my birthday. Again, these... Are just things I have collected over the months, but my priest started school today, so I'm kind of hoping to get back in it. Um, I had ordered these from Selena at Amore Fabrics. Oh, and it's just some different colored um, CD envelopes, which I thought would be fun, and some flashcards, which are always fun. And she sent this cute little pin with it. And then I've got one of her. Um, pretty boho sets. She has some gorgeous boho fabrics in her shop. And um, a few weeks ago, I went to Walmart. I grabbed that bag to show. I actually got this, which is folded in half. I went to the clearance aisle. And so I got all of that for $1.55. And I thought it was so pretty that I would use it today. And then I got this one, which I thought was pretty. And this one right here, it's got like little forest animals on it for 67 cents. So I thought that was really cute. And I had found this before in pink and blue, but I had never been able to find the cream. So I got one of those. And I thought these were the cutest thing ever. So I grabbed two package. They are little forest baby buttons. And another reason I got two packages is I noticed some of them have the same animals, but others don't. Like, there's the little porcupine or hedgehog, and the deer is in both. But the owl is only in this one. The fox is only in this one. The little beaver is only in this one. So, I went ahead and got both, and I thought those were super cute. And you could use them as buttons or cut off the backs. But I love nature journals, so I had to grab those. And that is all the extra stuff I pulled out. And now it is time to get 
to the stuff that we got on here to show from the thrift store. Second. I grabbed these three little boxes. Oh, my hair. Sorry, I have to move them. Oh, sorry about the camera. They were 50 cents a piece, and I thought they were really cute with the knobs, and I could put some of my craft stuff in there. So there's the large and the medium and the small one so I can start putting some things away in those. I love these boxes and I thought for 50 cents a piece that was a steal. And I got, let's see, I don't really actually remember what all I got because it was a couple weeks ago and I've been saving it in the bags to open up on camera with everyone. I got this old book. Super, super old and vintage. I thought it would be fun to try to um, salvage this cover and make a journal out of it. And then I really liked the look of these pages. I don't have anything like this in every page. Sorry, I don't know why it's getting so blurry. Every page is really neat looking. So I grabbed this one up. And then I found um, one of those Edith Holden books. It's not the... Um, the original one that everyone buys up. I have one of those, which I've been hoarding for years. But this one is, um, The Edwardian Lady, the story of Edith Holton. And it kind of just shows some of her works in it. But it does have some really pretty illustrations and stuff in it. So I grabbed that as well. I don't, sorry about the camera, guys. I have not done this in so long. I'm... A little out of it okay and then here is the last bag I will show you guys real quick I got this oops I don't know why it is doing that I'm not bumping it or anything but when I look at the camera it looks like it's shaking all over the place so I do apologize for that um, I got this fabric right here this nautical fabric maybe if I move slower Go. But this was really neat, and I found this at the thrift store. And I got this nautical looking fabric as well, which I really like this with the maps on it. And let's see, in this bag, this one was from a different thrift store. Um, I got this fabric right here I thought was really pretty, and I think it was like 60% off of a dollar, so I thought it was pretty and I'd grab it up. And these stamps were 60% off of $7, I think, so I thought that was a really good deal. Maybe it was 40%. But yeah, the little lady, so cute. And I like the little, little cars, old-fashioned cars. And then there's this really big, pretty flower stamp with the Japanese flowers. And then this one, um, it looks like it has the letters on it. I don't, here they are. They must have just fallen off, so I'll have to re-glue that, but you get the the letters. So there's that. Try to make some more room. This thing is just shaking all over the place. Okay. Um, this bag has all kinds of pretty goodies in it. I loved the hearts on this piece, so I had to snatch it up. They had a whole basket of doilies and stuff and they were kind of pricey so I only got the one just because I loved the hearts I thought I could cut those out or maybe use it as oh, sorry, a trim and then I've got these flowers up here so I thought this was a really beautiful piece it's so pretty I might actually use it I don't know I always get stuff to use in my journals and then I like it so much that I end up hoarding it or I can't bring myself to tear it up I got this little bag of lace, which I haven't really looked in. Let's see. 
Sorry, guys. I thought it would be fun to kind of go through all of this with you guys. So I haven't opened anything yet. Okay, here we go. Finally got it. It's got a whole bunch of this really pretty lace right here. Love vintage lace from thrift stores. Anytime I can find some at a good deal, i will snatch them up. And it's got this one with the pretty flowers. And again, there's a really good amount in there. And I think I only paid like $2 for all of this. So like a dollar piece, which is not bad. And then this one was absolutely gorgeous. I paid way too much probably for this. As you can see, $5. I think it was one of the most expensive things that I ended up getting. It's stapled clothes. But I really thought it was gorgeous. So I paid the extra money for it. It's a whole bunch of this um, flower trim. Which will be so pretty in journals. And there's a whole bunch of it. So yeah, I paid a pretty penny for that one. But... I got a good deal on everything else, so it kind of evens out. <laughs> and then this one right here. I haven't really checked out yet either, but I loved, this is kind of what made me grab it, is I loved this little bitty trim. I love putting these on tags or little pockets and stuff. It's like dainty trim. And there's a good amount of that. And then there's this one here, just a little one also with the ruffle on it. And this, this is another one that I really liked. I love, love these. They're so pretty and delicate looking and then just some regular trim. And then it has this really pretty, pretty pale pink eyelet, which I thought that was gorgeous some more lace and I love that these don't have to be coffee dyed or anything they already look nice and vintage another thing of eyelet trim and that's some more lace right there so I got a whole bunch in that bag and I have one more bag to go and they had a basket of different bags of these and I want to say I want to say this one for some reason was three seventy five, and the other ones in the basket were five dollars. Which I mean, still for all of this is a good deal. I've never bought a whole roll of this, but I would assume you're gonna pay more than five dollars just for one of these. So three seventy five for all of this, I thought was great. And like one of them was blue, and I have a ton of blue from um, Danny at Junk Journals and More. She used to sell a lot of eyelash trim, and I got a ton of blues from her. And I think another one was black, and I don't really use a lot of blacks, so I, I decided on this one, and it was cheaper. So I got this whole big roll of this really pretty pale purple. And then this one is one of those really pretty fluffy ones. I actually think I had some just like this at one time, but I love the fluffiness of it. And some sparkly brown, which I absolutely love to use in my journals. Oh, there's two rolls of it, and they're kind of entwined. Oh, no, this one. Hold on, sorry. It's all tangled up. One of them is the sparkly brown, which I love. I use this all the time. And then one of them is a fluffy brown, which is super pretty. I've actually never, never had the fluffy brown. That'll be nice. And then there is a dark sparkly purple, so pretty. And these will look great with um, when I get done with Lynn's journals. I'm working on, I think, three journals for Lynn right now. When I get done with them, I have a kit picked out from Elizabeth that I'm going to work on. And I bought a paper pad for it. I wish I could find it. I don't know where it's at. But it's got the purples and the teals. It's like a birdhouse. The kit from Elizabeth and the paper pad. It's like um, birdhouses and teals and purples and stuff. So this will look really pretty in there. Another light purple. 
and a giant roll of dark purple. And that is it. I hope you guys liked looking through the stuff that I have accumulated. Again, um, the last few bags and boxes were from a thrift store and the CD envelopes and the bow stuff was from Selena at More Fabrics and everything else I got off Amazon except for the little bag from Walmart. So, um, again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll be back on here making more videos. My boys just started school, so I'm hoping to have a little more time and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.